Support Pump Curve Graph. In this video, we will see how to import a pump curve image and plot flow versus head points to produce a pump graph to match the data provided by the pump manufacturer. First, click on the pump in the Pipeflow Expert system to open the pump data screen and select the Import Curve Image button to open the import screen. This screen clearly lays out the steps to create a mathematical model of the pump's performance. So first we'll select the image of the pump manufacturer's performance graph to import and display in the screen. The next step is to define where the x-axis is on our pump graph. We can do this by setting the range of flow on the x-axis and the flow units. This is required to begin at zero. Clicking the start and end points of the x-axis will draw the axis on top of the imported image. Similarly, we will set the range of the y-axis and the head units by clicking the start and end points of the y-axis on the imported image. Next, we select a curve and begin defining points using the Select Points Curve button. It is best to select a curve roughly in the middle of the curves defining the performance for the minimum and maximum impeller diameters. As our first point, we must first identify the shutoff head point at zero flow for our chosen curve. A red cross shows the point has been selected. We will continue to click additional points on the chosen pump curve in order to define to cross the whole flow range of the pump. As we select points, we are asked to enter the efficiency and NPSHR associated with each operating point. With this in mind, it is a good idea to choose points that intersect with efficiency curves. You can build up the pump model by repeating this to add up to 10 points. The table shows flow, head, efficiency and NPSHR entries. You can select from the heading drop-down to switch between display of head, efficiency and NPSHR values where the entries can be updated and deleted as required. We can now enter the pump speed, impeller diameter and specify the impeller units and click save data to pump to return to the main pump screen. The imported data produces a pump graph with a flow versus head performance curve. This simple pump object can be saved on the pipe within a system. Entering the specified min and max speed of impeller diameters will allow the Pipeflow Expert software to draw an envelope. Clicking the Draw Graph button and using the slider to fade the background image, we can see that the minimum impeller diameter curve doesn't quite match up with the Pipeflow Expert's prediction. This can be amended in the graph options by using the tools provided when you click the Adjust Pump Model button. We will be looking at this screen in greater detail in the next video of this pump modelling series. But here we are going to be using the up and down arrows to amend the head and curvature of our minimum impeller diameter curve. Once we are happy with the adjustment, click Done Adjusting Pump and save this pump to the pipe. When a system is solved, the pump's operating point will be calculated and the flow rate, head, efficiency and NPSHR values will be displayed together with the shaft power. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next Pipeflow Expert pump modeling video. Download your free trial of Pipeflow Expert today at www.pipeflow.com.